Hi guys, welcome back to CNG Productions. My name is Tom and I'm joined by... Courtney! And what are we doing today? <gasps> oh, super secret, secret things! We're playing some Malifaux because the very lovely folks at Weird Games, Johnny Weird himself, Johnny Weird. has kindly given us some new masters to show off. And if you haven't seen this already, we've done some overview videos for each of them and the new enforcer, Mr. Dorian Crow. we can't forget him. And we've already done a podcast on the Harlefaux show, there'll be a link in the description. And we don't do things by half on TNG. Or even full, we've just gone overboard. Yeah, basically. exactly, yeah. So we're going to try and record a battle report. Now, we haven't played, obviously, loads with these guys. You're actually learning Colette new to start for this. Yeah, I think this is my, like, fifth game, so... So it's even more casual than normal casual. Yeah. And we've done the scheme pool to deliberately try and show off what they do, but to our best efforts, we're going to try and play a competitive, a casual competitive game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see how they do. But we've got Pandora, we've got new Colette, we've got Dorian Crow on one of their sides as well. Well, and speaking of those, they are all going to come in a box together. And I haven't actually asked Weird about this, so it might be us who have to finance this. Yeah. But in the comment section below, we've been doing giveaways all season. I just want you to imagine and superimpose a box here. Um, we're going to give away the new Pandora Collect and Dorian Crow box. All you need to do in the comments is tell us which of those three characters you are most looking forward to putting on the table after you've watched this. And if you want to make sure that you know who wins, you need to subscribe to the channel because it'll be announced two weeks after this battle report comes out by this wonderful, beautiful man here. Yeah, I'll do it. And it will be revealed on the channel community page. So you need to be subscribed so that pops up in your feed to make sure that you do that. But without further ado, let's get to our cruise. Let's go. So this is my 50 soul stone crew for today's battle report. I am packing seven soul stones with this because Ooh. we've got brand shiny new Pandora, Ooh. the Tyrant Torn. Um, she's really cool. If you want to see how she plays, there's already a video up on the channel by this point that has like an overview of her character. And we've even done a podcast on the Harlefo yes. show on all of the characters that we're featuring. She's accompanied by a miniature from a game long since dead on the yeah. right hand side. Uh, she's kind of apt because is he, is he the, um... He's kind of incorporeal, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, so uh, Dorian Crow on the right-hand side. And then we've just backed up with Candy, an Aversion, Carver, Poltergeist, and Two Sorrows. So I want to say a massive shout-out, first of all, for Darren, who painted this Pandora for us. Mm -hmm. We were like, we need a cooler Pandora. And he was like, I have the old Pandora, the one where she's unleashing everything. Yeah. We were like, paint that, please. Can you paint that? <laughs> in fairness, he painted the collector's coming up as well. He did. But this Pandora is really interesting in the sense that she can swap conditions around from a lot of people, and she is a summoner. So actually, this starting crew will probably grow as the game goes on. Dorian, if you've not seen the video on him yet, he's very much about movement shenanigans. Being half a performer certainly helps with that. But they do what they've always done. They try and put out damage at range. They try and put out conditions. They can ping the misery as and when they need it. So realistically, they're still quite a versatile damage dealing crew. And this is your Collector Bois crew, mate. So who have we got here? So we have our new sp brand spanking new Colette. Again, painted by... Uh, Darren, our friend, who's... Lovely, lovely paint job on her to go yeah. with it. So this is the Smuggler Colette. It is the Smuggler Colette. All the rest of them painted by me in a wild flash of... In a uh, wild panic of this morning. <laughs> of, two, of two weeks, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've got Colette, uh, who, if you've not seen anything, basically she smuggles, she drone controls. She is, She's... She is the drone controller, that's what we're calling it. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think rather than doing the whole um, getting in, teleporting around sort of business, she lets just things through her birds. Yeah, her birds now become models that she can then like basically possess and they become her for an activation. Yeah. Kind of so it's really, really cool. And uh, she can pop decoy markers around. Yeah. And she's she's a bit more sturdy and stuff like that. So uh, she's hopefully you'll see her in action in this game. Uh, we have the lovely Cassandra. Copy uh, machine. Copy machine. Or oh, oh, we have Angelica, who has Soulstone uh, Cash. So she can use some soul stones in this game as well. Very good. She's also a herald, so she can get on board very yes, quickly. Yes, 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 yes. We've got the ever flammable Carlos. Very good. Amazing scheming model in his own right. We've talked about him on the recent Keris podcast, haven't we? He's yeah. just super good. He is really, really good. And then the Nightmare themselves, the coffee. <sighs> Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced Fair as everything should be. Um, the other upgrade I have is the showgirl, who is carrying a... Magical training. She's, she's been, been to Hogwarts. Hogwarts. She's been to Hogwarts. She's, she's been, been to Hogwarts. Showgirl Hogwarts. She's been to Showgirl Hogwarts where they dance and do magic at the same time. Beautiful. So she she was the head of the, the PTA shows, basically. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Colette is a magician, so she probably taught her. It does work. Oh my, that's where they go. This is Hogwarts. Oh my this God. is where all the uh, Soulstone managers used to go. They used to go to Colette. <laughs> 
<laughs> she trained them underground. Yeah, exactly. So if they haven't seen how this whole crew is affected by Colette, Colette is essentially able to stand much further back and get the drones to do her work, the doves, while also able to kind of actually smuggle you soul, soul stones. Yeah, exactly, that. yeah. Um, nice thing actually with the Colette is if you need to go on the offense, you, you can get out with the decoy markers as well. Yeah, she's got some very good attack action, so yeah. shooting action in particular is very nice. Indeed. Yes. So you very kindly let me play as Dorian, but it's worth saying Dorian can also be played. Yes. And your crew. And um, he gives your already mobile crew even more mobility, Extra but mobility. also get, makes distracted even more nasty. And he brings a pimp cane, Ooh, which is yeah. just worth all of it. Which, you know, already got one pimp cane, why not two? The more the better. So we'll go set up the board, we'll look at our strats and schemes, and we'll talk you through them in a sec. Okay, and here we are all set up for today's game. And as you can see, we've gone with a wedge deployment. We've gone two very different approaches to wedge deployment, haven't we, mate? Yeah, definitely so, yeah. I've gone for the bubble, you've gone for the avoid keep the, the bubble. Yeah, keep the away from you bubble. Flying V, we'll call it respectively. <laughs> yeah. um, so you should be able to see some red markers across the halfway line. This is because we're playing break the line. This is the one, the pushy-pully one, where you get points versus VP for pushing it over the halfway line. You get even more if they're eight inches away from the center line as well. So the objective is to just try and get those across. I'm I'm sure Courtney and Colette will demonstrate how to do all of this in like one activation or something <laughs> silly. Uh, aside from that, I'll put the scheme pool up. We've got detonate charges, claim jump, spread them out, vendetta, and outflank. And I will flash on screen which ones Courtney and myself have gone for. So Angelica's had her heralding move. We've flipped for initiative. Despite the fact I get plus one because my ancient pact upgrade, I flipped to three to go to a four. Can't be a 13, He's my just friend. stroking it off camera. 13, <laughs> 13 is there. Um, we've drawn our starting hands. Neither of us have stoned for it. So would you like to go first or second, my love? Um, yeah, I think you'll go first, mate. Oh, you're so kind. So we'll go to the first activation of turn one, which would be the Neverborn. Okay, so... Let me just quickly show you our hands, and I'll be honest with you, I've chosen a giant deck of cards here, so good luck with that, seeing all that, but there we go, that's my hand. So, you know, Team G Productions, we like to keep the first turn pretty simple, so I'm pretty much just going to move keep this bird. Keep the whole game simple, it's what yeah. we can manage with. <laughs> so this bird is basically going to double walk to here, and then to here. Lovely, so seven inch flying movements. Yeah, and that is, that's that done. Easy peasy. Okay, so having spent my pass token, it's probably about time that I activate then. So this is my starting hand for the game. And uh, we're gonna go with Dorian Crow. We're gonna go with the new boy. So he is gonna try and use his losing interest bonus action. Now I'll talk through his abilities because he's brand new. This is a six inch pulse, stat six needing a 10. This model and friendly unengaged models within range may each move up to two inches. And then he's got a crow trigger in case he wants to do some healing as well. So let's see how we do. We flip a 12, he's really into it. Oh, that yeah. Is successful. So that's going to affect everybody in this bubble. So we're just going to move away and we'll cut back in a second. And here we are. You can see that everybody has now moved up. The death bubble has uh, advanced. You hate to see it, don't you? You hate to see it. You hate to see this. So he's then going to use one of his attack actions on Candy. He's going to use Disapproving Glance on her. Um, and this is basically a once per activation, push the target four inches towards a marker in its line of sight. If the target ends its move in base contact with the marker, you can remove it. Obviously, that's not going to work with strat markers. So this is stat five, needing a 10, and it's against willpower. Candy's just going to relent. So we flip a three there, which is not successful. However, we do get to cheat in this uh, six of tomes. And that is going to come with a trigger, and the trigger is going to say beautiful close, which is the target gains distracted plus one. You might be thinking, Tom, why the hell are you putting distracted on your own models? And my answer will be coming when Pandora activates. Oh, yeah. Second. So, Candy's already on the halfway line with distracted. You love to see that. Uh, and then he's got no, you don't. one more. You don't want to see it, Tom. And then he's got all more action. Now, I usually don't know what to do with this. He is moved forward. He could shimmy forward. But I think, to be honest, he's just going to take the concentrate action again for Pandora reasons. Well, after that horrific um, advance, I decided to go with uh, another burb. So he's going to do a double walk again. He's going to go to here, and then he's going to go to here. I always want to do like a, a plane sound when I move these. This is the I first time you've actually not done it in these practice I know. games. I think I'm trying to be too professional, and it's always a mistake. It, yeah, you? exactly. Yeah, <laughs> expect the expect uh, plane sounds on the third bird. I promise. Well, it's going to go over to me, and you can see that me and Courtney have practiced this matchup because I know exactly what I need to do now. There's a bird near a token, and Colette's there with a little bloody controller ready yeah. to go. <laughs> so, my Sora's going to double move, pre measure is basically there to there. 
That's it in terms of its action points, but now it's going to try and glimpse of insanity the bird. The bird's well known for their excellent willpower. Oh, yeah, exactly. So yeah. This is going to be a stat of five versus its willpower of... Uh, three. Yes, come at me. Oh, well, I flip a one. Oh, look at that. You flip a ten. Oh, 13. Unfortunately, that does not go through. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Right, the moment you've been waiting for, it's bird free. He's going to do a double walk to here. Let's go. There we go. I promised it, yeah. He's going to fly to there, and that's going to be his turn. The subscriptions have just flown. Exactly. Don't ever say that I don't give you what you want. Entertainment factor. Yeah, exactly. Guess I'm playing the anti air in this game then. Isn't yeah. it? <laughs> so I'm going to go with my aversion. It's going to try and frightening reminder, but rather than actually being scary, it's going to remind Pandora of when she was frightening, when she used to have terrifying. Yeah. So this is uh, stat five, needing a ten. Get a nine, and that'll do. So that is going to push her four inches away. I'll take advantage of the new pushing rules. And I'm just going to go whoop to there. Oh. 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 Darren's watching like through gritted teeth. <laughs> <otherwise. laughs> Paint job. <laughs> Uh, then the aversion's gonna go. It's got like a five inch move, so I'm quite tempted to just like literally charge this bird, to be honest. Leave the bird alone. I can go to here, and then decision is do I go for a scatter or not? Now I don't think I'm within three inches, so do you know what? We'll go for a charge. I'm gonna charge to this position here, and I'm gonna hit you with a revolting swipe. Enjoy this. This is gonna be stat five versus the bird's defense. Okay, let's do this. Uh, 11 up to four, 15. Oh, that's not good. That's uh, an 16, 8. 16 even, I completely lied. That is an 8. Do you want to cheat anything? Ooh, you're on 16 are you? Yeah, I'm on 16. Well, I mean, I think that bird might be... Uh, might be a shush kebab. No, I'm not going to cheat. Uh, so your total was? Uh, 8. So, straight flip? Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> there goes all my severs out of the deck. It's, uh, it's a dead. It's going to explode. Here's a uh, scrap marker if you need one, mate. And yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it because two birds on tokens are worse than one. I do get to draw a card though, so you know, not all. Yeah, because it's like a... Is it Demise, Demise Expendable. Them? Lovely. Now, interestingly, if Colette destroys these, she actually gets shielded, doesn't she? Like, she does. Like her abilities. But uh, yeah, that'll do for the aversion. He was actually in base context. He's going to sit on this and try and push people away from it in the future. Okay. Right, let's uh, actually do something now that's so the, not bird related. The widest angle shot I've ever had to do here because Colette could just control the battlefield. I mean, I say not bird related, but it's very bird it's related. Very, everything's bird related. So Colette is going to do her smoke and mirrors. Um, so I need a free finish to go off and I really want a crows because I want a soul stone. So let's have a look. I mean, that ain't it's not, no... It's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, this is better. There you go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so basically, what happens now is I put down a decoy marker. And these are basically what the birds are, aren't they? Yeah, the birds are also count as decoy markers. She gets to move. She places herself, doesn't she? With the force, even better. So it's worth saying you've gained a soul stone. So you're up to uh, like seven now, but we'll sort that in a set. We'll just move a little bit there, just because I'm terrified. I like how you looked at Pandora and then went, no. Nah, yeah, well, you know, I'm going to die first turn. Is it really a good uh, showcase of what she can do? I mean, that's your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so now we're going to do some routine performances. This uh, is her amazing ability. Yeah, so we're going to routine performance targeting the bird on the left. So do you want to talk about how this works, mate? So... Essentially, what it is, is I can choose a decoy marker and then do a, a, a general action or attack action for it, and, but it counts as Colette doing that action. And that's the key bit. It's treated as Colette and using her stat card. So these insignificant minions suddenly become pretty awesome. Yeah, because they also count as decoys. And you only need a small amount for this. What do you need to flip? <laughs> I need a four. Nice. So you're going to aim on this bird all the way up. Yeah. Go for it, mate. So come on, Mr. Four. I'm, 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 <laughs> no, sorry, but no. Right, so you're going to take the interact action. I am. To place this marker within two inches, which yes. is annoyingly all the way over here. And I actually get the trigger on that. So enemy models within two inches must take a Tien 13 willpower duel or suffer two damage. Is that two inches of her or two inches of, of the oh, It is two inches of the target, so of the actual bird. Oh, what have I got to take, did you say, mate? It is Tien 13. Or... Is it oh, willpower, sorry, yeah, willpower. TM13 willpower, so yeah, I need eight here. 
Come on. Get a seven. What happens to me? Two damage. Two damage. Well, I'm incorporeal, but I'll take the one damage. I do not appreciate that as a sorrow. I, I mean, I, I love it. I love it. Bird number two. Bird number two. So, I'm going to try and routine performance. Bird number two. So, this one needs to move in contact with Marcus. Yes. We're going to try and take a walk action with it. I am. So, once again, need a four. Loves That's it. That's an 11. So you're we'll take it. In space contact. Yeah. And then Colette has one more action because you bonus to start with. She did. So, what, so guess what, could what I'm going to do? What could you possibly be doing here? I'm going to routine performance again, needing a four. Get I mean, <laughs> she's not feeling. She needs to warm up. She, I mean, I clearly do, but you know, I'll just, I'll just use this fine. Oh, you can just do that. So yeah, <laughs> place this one within two. Yep. Lovely. And that is her activation, which is terrifying. Terrifying. I quite like it though. So while we're showing off the uh, the absolutely insane new levels of manoeuvrability that we have here, I'm going to go with a sorrow. And it's going to try a Misery Loves Company on Candy. Because she's so far forward, <laughs> I might as well take advantage of it. So I'm stat 5, needing a 10. Get a 6. That's not Ooh. too bad at all. No triggers for me to worry about here. So it's going to place itself in base contact with Candy Pants. It's then going to take the interact action to push this marker, because I feel like I need to push something just before Colette starts causing shenanigans. And then what I'm going to attempt to do is through the archway, I'm going to thread the needle here, I am going to attempt to glimpse of insanity Miss Angelica Durand. Now, you, it is manipulative, so you will be in the mind. She is. I'm just going to see how we do. So this is going to be a stat five versus her willpower. you got flipping space here. Mate. Yeah, willpower five. Let's go. 14. Red Joker just as well. Are you kidding me? I am happy. <laughs> you can have your stun. Fantastic. Now, annoyingly, I can't ping the misery, so this doesn't affect Pandora's shenanigans quite yet, but I will take that. I mean, it makes me unhappy either way. So, so that's a point for me, really. Well, yeah, but yeah. Right, it is time for the dance of flame. I swear you guys deploy your models just to mess with my camera placement. Like, I do, I do. It's so, a mental tactic against me to tilt me. 100% and it works it every does single every time. time. Right, so I'm going to go with Carlos. Carlos would shoot burning out. He does. Luckily, the coffee is not within two. Yeah, so he doesn't get any burning or anything because it's a pulse, but he might get burning in a second. Like yes. So I'll put that there. Right. Now he's going to do the dance of flame. Can you Spanish uh, music? <laughs> Ole! Uh, so... All music of your own cultural decision. Exactly, yeah. Use whatever music you want. Yeah. Reggae, a bit of club music. Just, just yeah, go mad. Do, do you actually get us out of this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to do the Dance of Flame. I need a five for this to go off. Oh, look at he that! He loves it. Look at that! So he gains a burning. He's going to bait a burning. He can move himself five inches. So he's going to move to here. And this is quite cool with Carlos, because he's got the ability when he takes burning, if it's only like a one damage, he can ping a distracted to someone. I know, it's so good, is... isn't it? Uh, he's then going to make another move, so he's going to go to here. Six inches, he's a speedy boy. He is a fast boy. Now, I don't think I actually tested to see if I was in range here, so I'm just going to take a quick walk as well <laughs> to here. And just pretend that Look was at the, the professional that you are thinking. And just pretend that was the plan all along. There we go. No one will know any different. And that is Carlston. Right, we're going to continue bird hunting because it means Colette has to make them then, which is more interesting, I think, for me. So I'm going to go with the poltergeist. It's going to move six inches because it's stupidly quick, not caring about hazardous terrain because it is incorporeal. Uh, we checked it's within six inches of this bird, which is going to be convenient because I can then ping some misery on it. So I'm going to try and glimpse of insanity this little bird. Stat five versus its willpower. Okay. It's uh, three again. Fifteen. Uh, here. Yeah, you got space there, mate. Ah, that ain't no fifteen. I think I am going to make you work... No, I'm not. I'm not going to make you work for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, that will give you a stunned. Condition. It will. Uh, I'm actually not going to push you because Pandora, despite this gorgeous base that Darren's put around, is only height two, so can't actually see over this. Ah. So I'm just going to ping you for a point of damage. Ah. Um, which I would have done anyway, but I just can't move you basically afterwards. But then the Poltergeist is going to try and finish the job if it can. So it's got a six inch move, which can conveniently get it to here. Can't quite go in base contact with the marker and engage you, so I'm just going to charge that position. And we're going to try and hit you with its sharp claws. Now this is stat four versus your defense. Oh, not, four? Not an amazing attack action. And not an amazing defense. 
Uh, six. Oh, ten. I will match you on ten. Oh, It'll will make you? you work will you time. now? Will you now? I will beat you by twelve. Well then. Well then. Bird oh, lives. Bird lives. Right. Okay. So we're gonna go with Angelica. Uh, she's stunned. Thanks for that, Tom. You're welcome, mate. Uh, Anytime. So she's gonna to move to here. And then... It's just someone yeeting me off the stage down the other end of the bloody board. <laughs> she's going to charge to here and she's going to beat a ghost with a stick. You fancy cane me? With a fancy cane. Well, what stat are you? Well, I am stat six, mate. Well, What's I your stat? Defence four, come at me. Right, let's do this. I'm on 11. I'm on 13. Go for it. Uh, yeah, so negative flip. One. Two. That is uh, a moderate of three damage. Uh, it goes down to two, luckily, because I am incorporeal, so I'm down to three health. And that is an activation done because I can't do my wall section because, you know, stunned. Carvey Dent, for me, he's going to go. He is going to make a five inch walk. He's going to go to this position here. And we measured this, he's just within eight inches in line of sight of seeing Angelica. So I'm going to try and glimpse of insanity her. Mm -hmm. This will be stat six versus her willpower, but you're on a negative because you're near the poltergeist, yeah. which obviously has distraction, so it gives you negative to the willpower duel. Okay. Oh, 16, not a bad start. Where am I all right for pin? Uh, there, mate. Yeah. One. Oh my god. Red Joker. <laughs> Two. Yeah. No. So uh, you gain that stun back that you got rid of. Amazing. Um, a poltergeist is just going to kind of give you a point of damage, mate. Okay. Enjoy that. Knocks her down to what? Uh, six health. There you go. She's almost dead, folks. Not in any <laughs> Almost way. dead. Yeah, <laughs> just, you know, ping just, away. Just chip it away. Yeah. Um, I think he, the thing is now it's about control and where he's going to move. If I commit him to this side of the board, he's very committed to this side of the board, so I'm half tempted to focus. But then I'm also tempted to do the exact opposite of what I planned off camera and actually just move him to here. Okay. We're whimsical on TNG. Whimsical. So I feel this might be telegraphing one of the schemes that you've taken here, mate. <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. You know, no. I could be, I, I could be Vendetta, you know. <laughs> could be for sure girl on a poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> Given the air pins. So I'm going to go with the show girl. I'm going to do something that I, you know, it might work, it might not. Uh, she's going to take a walk to here. And then... She's going to try and lure the poor guys, which could be a really bad idea, but, you know, let's, let's do this. Your stat is? Um, <laughs> stat six. Against my willpower, oh, six. Oh, where's your willpower? Six. Let's do this. Uh, 13. 13. Do you know what? You could have it. Yeah! You, you Come it. to me! Six inch move. Yeah! Like corporeal model basically gets it to, like, there. Yay! Uh, and that is that is her done because you know no bonus actions for poor old showgirl. Okay, so we're gonna go with my master then. We're gonna go with Pandora. So the first thing she's gonna do is she is gonna move five inches to this position here. She's still pretty spry. And then she's gonna have a go at using her bonus action, compounding motions, which is amazing. This is kind of her replacement for stripping conditions. So it's a six inch pulse, stat six needing a 12. End any condition on up to two models within range, then each model that had a condition ended this way gains a condition of this model's choice with a value of plus one, if relevant. No two models can gain the same condition this way, but realistically it's only candy that's going to be affected by this. So, I need to flip a six here. We flip an 11, she loves it, there's no trigger on a tome, but what we're going to do is we're going to take that distracted that we gave candy earlier, and we're going to replace it with a much better fast. This is disgusting. It's lovely. You disgust me, Leave her Tom. alone, leave her alone. You disgust me. Uh, I didn't even have to use my uh, aspect of fortune. <laughs> so, uh, Pandora's then going to have a pop at Colette, because why not get the masters swinging at each other straight away? She's going to go with a weight of despair. Now, this is stat six versus Colette's willpower, mate. Of six. So, let's see how we do. Uh, I go up to 11 currently. I go up to... Ooh, 13. Ooh, that's not too bad at all. Do you know what? I will use my... Actually, 14. I 14. forgot. She's a six, she's a six thingy. I will use my Aspect of Fortune. I'm going to flip the... I'm going to cheat the card using the top card of my deck. Oh, it's not bad. It takes up to 18. Uh, so you're on 18, are you? I am indeed. Um, hmm. What will this do again? Uh, it's not much. It's one, three, four, and stunned, but you're going to use your trigger to run away anyway. Um... Yeah, I don't really want stunned on my master, so I'm actually just gonna 
Pop that in. Oh, interesting. Now, do you get to tr use your trigger? I do get to do Go for trigger. it. So, do you want to talk us through this? So, uh, now you see me. After a model resolves a an attack action targeting this model, this model may place into base contact with a friendly decoy marker uh, within four inches. So, she's going to go, <laughs> see you later, sucker. But not just that, Thomas. You also get distracted. Oh, do you remove the marker, though? Uh... No! Oh no, yes, yes I do. <laughs> Remove the marker. She goes. gone. Right. <laughs> so this is convenient because I plan myself to be within 10 inches of this. So I'm going to take another pop at her and I am going to just take the negative then. I'll take another weight of despair because it's 10 inch range. Okay. Start six on negative me versus your willpower. Well, 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 uh, well. Well, I'm on eight. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go to the me now. Lovely. And no trigger for you this time. No. It's worth me also saying Pandora has the amazing ability to draw a card now at the end of her activation with Nefarious Pact. So I've drawn a card. Yeah. Hasn't changed my fortunes much, sadly. <laughs> or has it? Or has it? Uh, so I'm going to go with Cass. Cass is going to take a walk to here. And then I'm going to nimble walk. Not within four inches, basically. Not within four inches. And then I'm going to Breath of Fire that sad ghost man. My sad aversion? Yes. How dare you? So this is against my defense or willpower, mate? This is against your defense, stat six. Uh, defense of five. 12. Uh, 13. Well, that's, How about that? Well, How about just, that? That's just rude. That's just rude. Um, cards, I'm gonna go with... Cheat the cards, yeah. Eight. I'm gonna go with 16. Okay, I'm on 13, so negative flip. Okay, uh, with the blaze trigger, so you're gonna get an extra burning. An extra burning off fish uh, and tokens. Negative flip, one. That's a moderate. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. It's three damage. Uh, down to two, because I'm in corporeal. Yeah, and you gain two burning. Puts me on four health. Yeah. And that is it done. Okay, so we're going to play the game, How Good Is Courtney's Hand? And I'm going to go with my little child, who may or may not have taken some speed. So she, <laughs> she's going to go. She's not got candy in those, uh, in that she basket. It's just candy. drugs. PCP. <laughs> So she's going to move five inches to here. She hey, Pandora, do you want to fix? Do you want some stuff? <laughs> yeah. uh, she's going to move to here. She could shut this marker, but in fact, she's going to try and glimpse some insanity collect a bois, and I'm going to stone to put a mask on this. So this is going to be a start of six versus collect willpower of six. Of six, six yeah. Oof. Well, I'm going to have to cheat in a 12 to match you. Anything for you to cheat? No. Awesome. I'm going to give you stun, which won't trigger any uh, misery because I'm too far away. But I'm going to declare the on your heels trigger because surprise, she's here now. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So we're then going to plan out what she's going to do with the next actions. Yes, right then. I am going to go with the self-loathing on Colette. I'm going to make her realise that she made bad decisions in her life as a smuggler. So this is going to be a stat six versus Colette's willpower. Says the drug drug dealer. Well, she, she, she's, <laughs> she's a drug enabler. Uh, oh, eight. <laughs> Not much better. Uh, nine. I'm going to go to ten. Um, yeah, no. Yep, it, it happens. <laughs> that shows what's left in our hands. So, um, no triggers or anything here, but I get to use the magical flourish ability, which is the cool thing. So, increase actions final dual to total by plus one for each scheme marker, doesn't matter. It's gonna be one, three, four damage, and I can place you completely within four inches of where you are. So, negative flip. Weak. Weak, take a damage, Colette. Uh, she'll take it. And that knocks her down to? Uh, nine health. And then I place you completely within, interestingly. Do you mind just pushing her up to that marker there, mate? I will which means that you are now conveniently within four inches of candy for shenanigan purposes. And then I've got one more AP left to go. I think I'm going to self-loathing Colette again. I'm going to try and get the uh, Phantasmal Prism off. Okay. So stat six versus your defense. Your willpower even. I mean... Uh, yeah, wah, wah. well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm on nine. Uh, yeah, I'm on seven. Okay, so I'm going to take the Phantasmal Prism. This is uh, two, three, four, and then you gain my choice of either distracted or staggered. So, negative flip, moderate, and moderate, that would be three damage, mate. I am going to stone, and I will 
Oh, no damage. But you still gain the condition. Now, this is when I'd be like laughing normally in Pandora, would be like, aha, negatives, but actually it's just not going to do much. I'm just going to give you the distracted. I mean, if Dorian was close by, he could be really excited by this. Mm -hmm. But that's my little speed girl all done. Right, so I've just got the, the coffee to go now. Just the coffee. Just the coffee. Just the eight activations that it can do. <laughs> so she's going to move to there. And then I'm going to try and do Dance Partner, targeting Cass, so I get an inbuilt uh, mat because it is on a performer. So I need a free for this to go off. Well, well hey, it's lucky. meant to be, meant to be. Uh, so she's going to flop to the other side. Yeah, we don't think a place is a move, so you're not going to get an antipathy. An antipathy? Antip antipathy. Antip antip I mean, I can't push you anywhere anyway, because Cass is there. Um, and then they are going to do the bonus action, uh, dance apart, so. So it's where you take irreducible damage to half, but not that it matters, really. Not that really it uh, matters, because they've got full health. And then they split Z into these two. Now, which one's going to be the one that counts as having activated? Uh, we'll go with, that one's activated. Okay. And that is, the car feature done. Right, so I'm going to go with the green coffee and they're going to dance together. So literally, they just get to, <laughs> hey, I'm back. And that comes back off there. I mean, this feels fair and balanced. You know, exactly. This feels absolutely fine. All right, well, look, if you're giving candy fast, Candy's in your deployment. I can yeah, do this, fair, all right? Candy is in your deployment. You know, so... <laughs> I'm going to Twirling Blades, that sad ghost. Okay, against my defense. It is against your defense. Stat seven. Oh, defense of five. Let's do this. Um, Ten. Nine. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> uh, there is a trigger. It is Visions of Glamour. So enemy ones within two inches would get distracted. I don't think there's anything in... Is it other enemy or just... No, it's just it's of the target, so he doesn't get distracted. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Negative flip for damage. Negative flip. One. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. Well, two damage. Down to one. Sad. Three sad. health left. Sad coffee noises. And then second action. <laughs> what is a sad coffee noise? It's just a creep. It's just like a... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to attack again. I mean, if you do another two damage to it, it's going to die of burning. I mean, yes. Heart of the cards. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. For God's sake. Yeah, baby. I'm going to cheat this just because I can. I'm going to go up to eight. Uh, I'm on 14. Yep. Yep. So, so negative flip, and it is an execute trigger. Uh, eight to 14? No. Straight flip. More than five. Yeah, got you back. Straight flip. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, okay. Well, so, um, two damage. Down to one. He's um, got two health left. Are you going to an execution? I'm going to get rid of this one. <laughs> <laughs> And he lives. Yay! And that'll bring us to the end of the first turn. It will. And here we are at the end of the first turn. And yeah, we're surprised by the amount of movement we've managed to get out of these crews. Yeah. There's it's... been a lot of shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I always thought Colette was pretty... Crew was pretty movable anyway. But Pandora is 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 insane. Dorian helps a lot. Yeah, Dorian is definitely really good. And I think she's, he's really good with Colette as well. I mean, I could be even further up the board if I had Dorian Do you know it. where people could find out more about this, Courtney? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking... Funny we talked about this in detail. Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I think we've got, like, several YouTube videos. And like, a podcast. And a podcast yeah, as well yeah, yeah. that has me on it. So why would it, what else would you what want? What more could you want? Making bird noise. It's just me and my It's just called his bird call out. Yeah. <laughs> right, so it's worth us saying, Carlos has chucked the distracted onto the sorrow because when he takes burning, he can pulse it away. Yeah. My aversion's on a solitary point of health. And yeah, well, there's nothing to score, but you've got, we've basically got two markers in my half, one in yours, and then one on the half yeah. one in the line. So we've drawn our cards afresh. We flip for initiative. Now this is the advantage of my upgrade here. I was on plus one, so we both flipped an eight. Takes me up to nine, and you've chosen not to cheat for this one, mate. No. So we're going to go for the first activation of turn two, which is going to be Pandora and the Neverborn. Okay, over to me to start the turn. My hand looks a little something like this, and we're going to start with Pandora because, of course, I'm going to start with Pandora. We're going to try and put some pain out. Uh, the Corafi duet is annoying me currently, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to no shelter here on it. So this is going to be a stat six versus the Corafi's willpower, mate. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, 15 currently for me. <sighs> 10. Do you want um, to 
Hmm. 18. 18. Uh, ba, 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 ba. You waste your resources. Well, sure. I don't have to because I can cheat off the top card of the deck. Come on, so one. I'll see if there's a Hail Mary here. Yeah, it's a one. It's <laughs> a one. Does not go off, sadly. Um, second thing she is going to do is. Oh, I'm tempted to do it again. I'm very tempted to do it again. Or do I just wait? Yeah, and switch your activations. It's fine. Well, I know I've got my summon and I know I've got my bonus action that I can do. Um, it's where that summon's going to come from is the next question. So I'm going to uh, wait of despair the Corophy duet now. This is stat six versus your willpower again, mate. Okay. Well, 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 well. Seven for me. Um, six for me. I'm going to go to... Um, Make a decision, Courtney. Make a decision. I'll go to 11. 11. I will go to 13, I think. And I'll just cheat in this seven here. Okay. So, negative flip. Uh, mm -hmm. one, three down, one, three, four, and then stunned. Okay. Weak, severe, one damage. One damage and stunned. Your gain stunned. That will trigger the misery from the aversion. So I'll ping you for another point of damage, mate. Okay. And then Pandora is going to use her exposed fears that when an enemy uh, trigger, when I trigger a misery, I can push them two inches. And I'm simply going to push you just back. Okay. So that you're away from me. And that means I still have. Uh, Another AP and a bonus action left to go, don't I? You do. So I am going to now summon now. Pandora's summon's really interesting. Woe is me. Stat seven, needing 16 of masks. So you need nine of masks just to go off. But it's unresisted. Once per turn, target an enemy model with stunned. Summon a woe minion, any with slow, into base contact with the target. So, and she could also then summon a poltergeist if it's being killed. Okay. I honestly feel like just chucking a sorrow into that scrum is kind of what I want to do. So I'm going to summon off the Corophy. I need a nine of masks here. Get the ten of tomes, but I'm going to cheat in this ten of masks here. Okay. And I am going to summon in, to absolutely no one's surprise, a sorrow, which is actually going to go around here and engage both. Now, the interesting thing Pandora can do with her compounding emotions now is she can actually rip the slow off this sorrow and make it fast or shielded or something really annoying like that. Um, but I actually think we're not going to worry too much about that, as much as it would be nice for me to beat up Colette. I'm going to go with compounding motions now. I need a six for this to be successful. Get a 13 of mask. That's really good. So uh, I'm going to declare the toxic family trigger. We'll explain what that does in a second. So I strip conditions off two models. Guess what? I'm going to take the burning off this aversion. And I'm going to take away Colette's stun simply because she's going to get it as soon as she activates anyway. Mm -hmm. I am going to grant my lovely aversion a shielded and I'm going to give Colette slow. Because okay. she, she appreciates that, doesn't she? Yeah. Now the toxic family trigger, friendly woes within range, which is six inches, heal two. And that's going to be really handy for that aversion that took a slap earlier. So he's going to go up to three health. And then I'm just going to end my activation by drawing a card which is this, and that is Pandy Pants, all done. Right, okay, so I'm gonna go with my turn. I'm gonna do something. Uh, we'll try something, let's try something. <laughs> so that's my hand that I currently have. I had some other cards, uh, but I cheated them. Yes, but I think you stoned, didn't you? I did stone, because it was pretty bad. <laughs> um, so I'm actually gonna dance apart. So the pink one is gonna take this out of the damage that she's got on. I think I'll do it like that. Lovely. You take point damage when you activate as well. I do. Both the same which I've just the done. Life, which we've already sorted. So the pink coffee is only on two health now. And then I think I might actually just be in melee range of you anyway. What's the range? One inch? One inch, yeah. yeah. You'd be absolutely fine there, mate. Uh, so I'm actually going to smack you with my um, twirling blade. Stat six against your defense. Uh, against the aversion's defense. Defense yeah. of five. Well, there you go. Uh, 11. Uh, 18. Go for it. Oh, sorry, 19. 11 to 19 is a straight. Yeah, that is four damage. Uh, irreducible, not irreducible. Uh, Incorporeal will reduce it by one. Shielded will reduce it by one, so it'll be two damage. Down to one health left. Uh, and that is that done. Well, I'm going to go with my freshly minted Sorrow. 
he's going to add to weight, but unfortunately he's slow at the moment. Um, first thing, I'm just going to chuck an incidental glimpse of insanity on this Corophy here, the one that's on two health. This okay. is going to be stat five versus her willpower. 11. 13. Um, I'll go to 16. Hmm. Okay, yeah, stunned. So you gain stunned. I'll ping you for a point of damage from the yeah. aversion. And then Pandora is just going to push you, or move you actually, because it's better now, two inches. So I'm just going to move into base contact with me. Okay. Toward this position here. And then I'm just going to take a swing at you. Okay. So stat five versus the Corophy's defense. Of six. Let's see how we do. Oh, it's a big card. Uh, 17, unfortunately, and I'm not going to cheat at this stage, but because I'm slow, that's everything done there. Right, so I'm going to bring it back together. So... Point of damage on the green one from yes. the leech life, and then basically the new Corophy will be on five health with stun. Yes, but yes, But I yes, only have yes. one action here because of the stun, thankfully. Yes. I've got done half of its wounds. It's an absolute nightmare, this model. So now I'm... Yeah, it is. Uh, so now I'm going to attack you with my... Um, twirling Blades. Leave my aversion alone. No, stat seven. Defense of five. Uh, 14. Uh, yeah, not 14. Choose some cards, come on. I'm going to go to... Ooh, I'll go to 17 with you, a crit strike. You can't declare triggers. So, it's fine, because you've only yeah, got to yeah, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. do a damage. Well, you've got to do two damage to me, which is your minimum. Yeah. Thing. So, go for it. Negative flip. Negative flip. One. Black Joker. Black Joker. Two, two damage. Yeah, that, that'll kill him. That, that he, he explodes into ghostly matter. <laughs> Woohoo! And that's the core field done. That's the core field done. We go to the other side of the battlefield now where the, the other close fort fighting is going on. Uh, we're going to go with Carver to start with. He is going to glimpse of insanity, the bird, but I'm going to strip the stun just to get a positive flip here. Okay. You are just within two of the poltergeist. So you're on a negative flip. So okay. stat six versus your Wilpa. Red Joker. Well, that's not friendly, is it? So I'm on 13. <laughs> you might still be me. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I'm 14, 15, 16, 17. Never mind. Right, I'm then going to charge. We've pre-measured this. I'm basically just going to go, Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> like a really angry Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> um, Cassandra is manipulative, isn't she? She is. So I'm going to hit her stat seven versus her defense, and I'll be on a negative flip here. Okay. Oh, God. One. She's on six. I am on 11. Uh, I will go to... Should have just strip the stun for a positive on the floor. I mean, you could have done that. Uh, 14. 14, okay. That's him with that. And then he's just going to draw essence. So, don't need to flip for this. He's going to suffer a solitary point of damage, which will knock him down to nine health. And then both Angelica and the bird, I don't think my poltergeist is within three, no, it's all good, uh, are going to take a TN12, not too high, a defense duel or suffer two damage, and for each one you fail, I heal two. Is this a shockwave? Oh, or do you ignore pulses? The bird does. The bird does. Um, okay, but um, Angelica does not. I'll just punch Angelica then, do you know what? Fair enough. I won't take my point of damage. I'll be on negative flip again though. Okay. Whee. Uh, I am on 13. Yeah, I'm much more than 13. I am on 16. Brag about it. <laughs> right, okay. So, I'm going to go with Cass. She will take her damage from Leech Life. Enjoy that. Um, oh, yeah, mate, yeah. She's going to upstage the coffee and she's going to do the power of dance. Um, which is just a stupid name. <laughs> I'm sorry if it is. Uh, I need a six for this to go off. She's going to dance to heal. She dances! She's got those moves. <laughs> so the, the coffee duet will heal too. Very nice. Which is very good, so it's on seven health now. And then second activation, she is going to smack this... This sorrow. This sorrow, yeah. This freshly born sorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it stats six against your defence. Uh, defence of five. Okay. Oh, 17. Uh, oh, 15. Uh... I will match you on 17. Go for it. Double oh. negative flip. Double negative. Wow. Door. Oh, is it going to be another two? Three. No, four. Uh, so it is two damage. Down to one because I'm incorporated. Uh, I do have a reposition. I... Can I get through that little rock? I don't think I can, can I? I? Think, yeah, I think you're trapped in there. You can yeah. backwards if you want. But... Uh, yeah, I'll stay where I am. Uh, and then I think last action... Should get finessed up. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I could move. Yeah, you've got nimble, haven't you? Uh, I've got nimble, well, but I can't move out of combat anyway, so it's kind of pointless anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just finesse just in case. And that is her done. I'm going to go with the poltergeist then. It's just going to angrily turn to face the bird. It's shunning the, uh, you know, the showgirl that temporarily reminded it of, like, you know, its red-blooded life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's going to try and glimpse of insanity, the bird, because we might as well just do that to start with. Stat 5 versus willpower be on negative flip. Okay. Seven. Uh, five. Negative flip for you, my dear. Oh, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, so it is against the birds. That is a eight. Eight. I'll go to ten. I'll give you a stun, not ping you for a point of damage. And it dies. You do get to draw a card, though, don't you? I do! I'll put a scrap marker somewhere for you, mate. And do you want to take your bird away? Get it out of my sight? No, I don't want to take it away. You happy with the scrap marker there? I'm um, happy with that being there, yeah. Uh, and then the poltergeist is going to go. It's still a stupid Angelica on a bloody manipulative, and so is the showgirl. But I think, you know, just... How was your minuses, mate? Yeah, I love them. I'm just going to charge to there. Okay. You know, I'm out. do you know what? I'm going to move six. I'm actually going to charge to dead on the halfway line for reasons. <laughs> then I'm going to attack you. Uh, stat four versus your defense. I'm on a negative flip. Okay. Oh, well. Five. Yeah, a lot more than that, mate. It's fine. It's fine. Get out of here! Burn these Get guys? out of here! Uh, I'm then just gonna. I could tell Kinesis, but I'll just hit her again. Stat four versus your defense, mate. Okay. Come on, Red Joker. You're in there somewhere. Oh, five again. Twelve. Well, that's all the ones gone out my deck. Uh, unfortunately, there's no scheme hackers around there. I'd just knock you away. But... Yeah, but no, none for you. Right, I'm gonna go with my close personal friend, Carlos. <laughs> Um, the fireman. The fireman. The fireman. The fireman. The fireman. He's going to do the dance. dance of flame, but he's going to interact first. We just said uh, in our first take of this activation that Courtney's a rotten sexist. He, yeah. He enjoys Carlos. Don't just, don't just be like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm sorry to the point um, three percent. No, I, I, I would just like to say not a sexist. Like, um, he just really likes I, I just hate everybody individually. It doesn't matter if they're male or female. Hate, hate everyone <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, dance of flame. You yeah. need to flip here, don't you? Yeah, let's do this. Boom. Loves it. That's loved it. So... Oh, look, it's Hayridden. Yay. Yay. Why is he in resin colours? Why, why is he in his old colours? Because Your rubbish this factor. card was made a long time ago. He's fishing for a measuring stick here. You go, yeah. you're right. There you go. There we go. You're just moving into space contact with Mark. You yeah, I know. Easily I just do, do that. I, I want to be professional. All right. We've already lost them. We're past I'm that. not professional, but I want with to be. With gender bias, we're already past <laughs> that. Are you taking the interact action by uh, I am. So that's going to get pushed. I'll let you do that because you're the it's concept one. It's isn't it? I think it's yeah. There you go. And that is Carlos done. Easy peasy. Not a sexist. I'm going to go with this sorrow that's kind of just managing the train. <laughs> it's just casually <laughs> hanging out. Um, it's going to go. It's going to burn its distracted by trying to do a glimpse of insanity on the Corophy. So stat five versus its willpower. I'm on a negative flip, though. Well, uh, well I'm dear, on 14 oh dear. currently. Yeah, I don't want that. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to take it <laughs> on a neg. Come on. So, gain a stunned. That's sad. Take a point of damage from the misery of the other sorrow that's nearby. And then Pandora is just going to chuck you a little bit closer for comfort. Just over here. Thanks to her ability to use exposed fears. Uh, that was a good... Removal of a distracted. Um, I think now I need to kind of go and deal with Carlos and the bird, really. So I'm going to declare a charge. Okay. To that. Okay. And I'm going to attack your bird. What's the bird ever done to you? Stat five versus its defense. Okay. I could flip on the train now. Oh, 18. Well, goodbye, bird. <laughs> goodbye, bird. Anything? No. Uh, straight. What's your total? Um, well, it is nine. Okay, so straight flip, not yeah. positive. Uh, oh, I've just nudged the camera, but that will be a moderate of two damage. Wah, wah. I mean, you get to draw a card. Which I is do. Good news. I always try and look at the bright side of killing your models, Corner. Oh, I'm glad you can. <laughs> Let's put the scrap wherever you want, mate. But... Yeah, I'll just pop it there. I mean, yeah, I don't think I really use it anyway. 
And then I've got one more action left, so um, I might as well just hit Carlos while I'm here. Okay. Take your bird away. Can remove this creature. I don't know. Keep the bird going. Get your master to summon some more. All right. Well, I, I would do it if someone would stop stunning her. Now, Carlos has got butterfly jump, but I actually kind of want him to not be engaging me. So, uh, stat five versus your defense. Okay. Uh, I am on 11. What is Joker? Well, then. Uh, I am on seven. Okay. Six, sorry, six. Six, so still negative flip. Yep. Hopelessness trigger doesn't come into play because you're not stunned, so negative. Weak. Well. 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 Five, five damage for you, my dear. I'm going to <laughs> slam a stone down on there and I reduce it by two. So three damage. Three damage. Do you want a butterfly away? Um, I don't think I need to, to be honest. I think I'll stay there. What's that put Carlos down to? Uh, Carlos is on five health. Lovely. That'll do. Right, we'll go with the show, girl. I need to do something about Candy. Um, is there something leaving her alone? No, wow. it really is not. What a jerk. Now, annoyingly, I'm... you're not within four inches because that would have been hilarious. But no, it wouldn't have been hilarious, Tom. You have, This is your problem. You get hilarious and terrifying in this yeah, mixed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go with the show, girl. She's going to focus. Carver's going to misery her from the other side of those she... she can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to spend that focus to try and lure Candy towards me. Yeah, because she is manipulative. Yeah. Uh, start six versus my willpower yeah. six. Come on. Come on. Straight flip each. Oh, fuck. Come on. Screw you. <laughs> Ten uh, for me. I mean... Spend it. Spend your cards. Thirteen. Spend your cards. Thirteen? You've just cheated in eight. Yeah. I'm... Got a 10, I'm on uh, 16. Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> what if, right, well, you know what, then it fails. It's my fault for saying 10. Yeah, it fails. Yeah, it is his fault. Cheater. Well, we're getting down to the last couple of activations now, and I'm trying to work out what order to do things. So I'm going to go with the Sora. It's going to move five inches, just about to there. It's conveniently within eight inches of uh, Collector Bar, so we'll, we'll chuck out a cheeky glimpse of insanity. Stats five versus collect willpower six. cheeky, mate. Very cheeky. Well, <laughs> well, 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 well. Look how the turn tables. I'm on eight. Um, I will go to 12. I'm going to cheat in this card that you didn't see yeah, well, there we go. <laughs> That was a charity cheat from me, just yeah. to get some use out of it. Uh, and then I'm just going to charge the Corophy. So I'm well within range. I'm just going to barrel two. This position here, so... You're going to rip the stun off. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm going to go... No, I'm going to keep the stun on you. I'm going to go... Are you sure? I mean, you could rip it off, mate. I absolutely could, but do you know what? No. <laughs> so, uh, stat five versus the Corophy's horrendous defence. Of seven. Well. Well. 17. 14. Um, yeah, ain't doing much better than that. I'm going to declare the hopelessness trigger, because that's built in, so that's plus one damage. Okay. Uh, negative flip for damage, though. Okay. Weak. Week. Uh, one up to two. Uh, one damage because of armor. There you go. Pots it down to... Five health. It's, it's hanging on at around about half health. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go with Angelica. Really easy. She's this. having a really bad day. Um, yeah, two big guys on 50 mils just sort of like dancing around her. She don't like it. So, um, and she ain't got no dance of fire or dance of love. She's just a woman. Dance of love. Well, she's got a woman with a stick. Um, so she's going to interact, put that scheme marker down there, and I'm going to try and disengage. So I get positive this, don't I? Because I'm crowning. So Carver's stat seven versus your defense. All right, come on then. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that is, um, yeah, 14. Yeah, you walk away. Where do you want to go to? What's her move six? Uh, She's moved six, yes. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go straight down? Do you want to go back? Do you want to run away and cry? Uh, I think I want to go to the other side of that marker. Go around it, yeah? Yeah. So, because it is impassable, I think. Yeah, I'm going to just go around. Two. Or do you want to be in base contact with it? Yeah, I do. Five, six, there you go. Maybe. Yeah, there you go. And the stunned will go. Yay! I'm sure it'll be back soon. Dorian Crow, it's your turn to go. So, he's going to move four inches to about there. He's yeah. going to hide a hole. Again, to the hidey ho. And then he's just going to bonus action. He's not going to boring conversation because we're too late. Next turn, though, boring conversation that entire region. Good times for everybody. So, do you know what? He is actually going to make sure he's a little bit more this way because he wants to be within six inches of Cassandra. So he had all the move in the world. He's going to go there. Uh, he's going to use his other bonus action. He's going to use his losing interest. So he needs a four for this to go off. Gets a three. Well, then. That's just going to fail. 
Right, so collect activates. Everything happens. So discard a card, which you have. I have done. Gain I take stun. a damage. And well, I gain, gain stunned. Stun. Then you take a damage from Candy's Misery. Then Pandora pushes you. So if you want to put on that red marker for me, right? Yeah, just do it. So that, it's done, know. slowed, and destructed for you. Yeah. And now, can I, I'm going to be able to do. You can now answer. play with your model. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Okay. So she's going to take a walk to here because she's moving six, and then she's going to pound that into the other. You move it two inches. I am. Or place it two place inches. Place it two inches. You're trying to cost me the points here, aren't you? Yeah. And that's you done? That's me done. Fantastic, uh, Master. Right, I'm going to go with my lovely little girl, Candy. She is going to start by trying a glimpse of insanity, Colette, and I'm going to stone for a mask. So stat six versus your I don't want six. your drugs, Candy. You Leave having you alone. They're not optional. Oh. Oh. Well, well. Well, I mean, I guess they are. That was a waste of a stone. You've uh, you've cost me the points here for this marker. She's not impressed. I'm very pleased. Um, I am going to self-loathing you. Start six. I don't really know what to do with Candy here. She's quite far away from the action. Uh, start six versus Wilpa. Well. I'm on 11 currently. I'm on nine. I'll go to 13. Okay, I'll cheat this and go to 16. Okay. I am going to be taking the, um, I should have said this in advance, but I'm actually going to be taking the Magical Flourish ability, yeah. I think. Um, no, no, I'm just going to take the Phantasmal Prism attack action because that makes more sense. I just want to do damage to you. Okay. So, two, three, four damage yep. on a negative. Okay. Severe. Ouch. We uh, Moderate, three damage. I'm going to spend another stone. Two damage. So that's two damage. And I could give you distracted or staggered. Stop using my own abilities against me. So you know what? I'm gonna give you distracted. You're on distracted two. Alright. That will ping you for a point of damage from Dorian's misery, which oh we my now God. get to use. And then Pandora is just gonna move you two inches. I'm just gonna literally push you back to there. Okay. And then Candy's got one more action left. And just to make sure Colette doesn't forget about, you know. Stunned and stuff. How old can they? You're having these drugs. <laughs> no. You're gonna get I'm them not. drugs. How much health is Colette down to that? Um five health. Chipping away though. Yeah. And here we are at the end of the second turn, and you robbed me of a break the line, you terrible person. I'm I mean uh, Colette if collect you look things. at this table <laughs> and tell me who the terrible person is, you've literally shut me master down. Well, we've, we've shown her off at a turn. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, I got a one turn to basically show what she did. And basically Candy's done more to show what pa can Colette does with her moves. There you go, it's great. It's all, <laughs> it's all fair, it's all good. Um, but in terms of point scoring, you've declared outflank. I have. And you've also got your point for break the line. I have. I, to absolutely no surprise, have declared claim jump. We've nudged Dorian a few times to make sure he wasn't within three of the Corophy, just to make sure that that was legit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Dorian is my claim jump, because he's a great claim jump model. Awesome. And aside from that, pretty much everything else has ticked down. So we've drawn our new cards. Mm -hmm. I have had to stone again, so I'm down to four soul stones. Um, how many stones have you got at the moment? Uh, I have four soul stones as well. Lovely. And then we flip for initiative. You add a pass token from my summon. I get plus one because of Pandora. I flip to ten. You flip to one. Yep. So I'll be going first. You will. Thoughts at this point then, mate? It's finely balanced still. It's quite finely balanced, yeah. I think it could go either way. I feel like um, Colette ain't going to do much more in this game. <laughs> she might but, be all right. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be all right. But I think, generally speaking, the flanks are looking pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Safe. Yeah. Lovely. So we'll get to it with the Neverborn leading the way. Okay, so I'm going to go first. This is my hand after stoning for cards. And uh, we're going to lead the way with Miss Pandora. I think she's going to go. Um, she's not going to probably put out a lot of damage. She just wants to kind of mess with things a little bit, really. So I am going to wait of despair on the Corophy duet. This is going to be a stat six versus your all willpower. A five. Oh. Ten. Uh, Eighteen. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, yeah, I think I'll just cheat it up just to put you on a negative. So I'm an 18 at the moment. Uh, so... He's counting with his fingers. <laughs> Stop telling them that I can't count, all right? Uh, so I'll go to 13. I okay. put you on a negative. I'm going to declare the Touch of Madness trigger, which is target discards a random card, which we'll do in a second. So negative flip, this is one, three, four, but you already have stun, so it will be plus one damage. Okay. So... Moderate, 
and moderates. Three up to four damage. Ooh, so two damage on the coffee. Nice, nice. And then, uh, if you show me your hand, my dear, I'll pick one at random. <laughs> Don't actually show me the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just show me your hand and you'll pick them at random. Yeah, Tom, yeah, of course I'm going to do that, yeah. Uh, I'll pick this card here at the end. It was a nine of times. So there we go. Don't want you to have that anymore, my dear. <laughs> so, uh, second thing she's going to do... I'm tempted to chuck a no shelter here out on Colette, because if I push her four inches, then what no shelter here does for anyone referencing, it's uh, like a hazardous aura, which is the only ability I haven't really used yet, to be honest. Um, no, do you know what? We're going to go for her second action. She is going to wait up to spare Colette Dubois. So start six versus Colette's willpower this time. Okay, of six. 17. Uh, not 17. I'm going to just cheat off the top card of my okay. deck because I can. That was worth it. 18. 19. Awesome. Burn them cards. Burn them cards. Uh, her third action is going to be to summon. She is going to woe is me. I'm going to target the Kurifi duet because that already has got stunned on mm -hmm. it. I'm going to have to spend a soul stone for a mask here, and I'm looking for at least a nine. Well, then, well, 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 then, well, that's well. the red joke. That's another stone not needed. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna you love to see it, Tom. Summon an aversion into base contact. It will come in with slow. Do you know what? I'll actually summon it on this side just so Pandora can see it a little bit easier. I oh, know it can go there. It can engage both. Okay. We're going to go to this point here, and I'll put a summon token next to it as well. And then what Pandora is going to do, she's just going to compounding emotions, I think, at this stage. So Pandora, compounding emotions, stat of six, needing a 12. This is her pulsey pulse. Gets an eight. Uh, the mass trigger is toxic family. That would heal anyone nearby. I don't think anyone in this lot have actually taken any damage. I think they're relatively okay. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I am going to strip Dorian's focus, and I'm going to give him fast. Okay. And then I could take Colette's entire distracted away to give her slow, or I could change my aversion to give it shielded. I think what I'm going to do, you don't really need distracted too much. I mean, I could even give you stunned here, which would be pretty nasty in terms of damage. But no, I'm just going to give you the slow condition there, mate. Okay. Doesn't trigger anyone's misery. Um, and that's Pandora all done. She's going to draw a card at the end of activation and draws that. Right. So this is going to be a collect activation because I mean you just wanted to experience it again. This is <laughs> yeah. So this is all I've got left in my hand now. You've discarded already. I have. Uh, you've gained stunned. I've pinged you for a point of damage, which knocks collect down to four. And that two-inch push, I'm just going to push her sidewards there with Pandora. Yeah. So thank you for your cooperation. Then. No problem. We're going to just basically do the same again. We're going to move to here and take an interact. And then take an interact. That's going to push this marker, and this means I've got slightly more that I need to worry about now with these. Which is pretty much what I wanted, and unfortunately, that's two activations and it's stunned and slow, so it's fine. It's a bad time, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Okay, I'm going to go with this sorrow right here, I want to say, question mm. mark. He's going to activate. Uh, first thing he's going to do is going to try and glimpse of insanity, collect. Okay. So, stats five versus your willpower of six. Uh, yeah. Whoa. 16. Uh, 16 as well. Well, that's just rude, Tom. <laughs> yeah, can't do nothing about uh, that. So you get a point of stunned. I do. You'll take a point of damage. Um, <sighs> I'm gonna to, I think I'm going to have to stone this because she's only got four health left. That's fine. It'll stop the push as well if you manage to stone it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So misery doesn't trigger for the push as well. Um, then it's going to buy an attack on the Corifi. So stat five versus Corifi's defense. On seven. Let's see how we do. Seven. Um, 16. Does, does not go through. Yay! Um, I'll attack it one more time. Start a five versus your defense of seven. Nine. Uh, nine. <laughs> well, well, well. How are the turntables? Uh, we'll go to 14. Uh, I will do some rapid mental maths here. I'll go to um, 18. Okay. And I'll take the inbuilt hopelessness trigger for the plus okay. one damage. So, negative flip. Yep. Weak. Weak, one up to two, back down to one. Yep. 
It's on to you, Elf. Chipping away, and that's that one done. Right, so I'm going to go with Cassandra. She takes point of damage from Leech Life. She does. Uh, she's going to dance partner, uh, tag it in the coffee. So she's going to upstage it. <laughs> yeah, so she's going to upstage it. So I need a three for this to go off. That's a four. That's Perfect. A four. So she basically teleports to the other side. And again, don't think a place has moved, so you're right in terms of the aversion. Yep. Then she is going to take a walk. And then interact. Just to put a scheme marker down? Yeah, on the other side, please. Do you have celebrity? I do have celebrity. Is it six inches, the range? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure if I'll be in range. Oh, yeah, yeah. Enjoy your distracted on that sorrow. I will take the distracted on sorrow. That only seems fair. And that's Cassandra done. And it's just worth saying that that move was from Nimble, Perfect. which is a bonus action. So we're going to go with the aversion. He's going to come in and he's just going to, I don't know, take a swing at the Corophy and try and see if we can finish the job here. So revolting swipe. Stat five versus your defense. 16. 16. Defense of how many? You flipped to seven. 14. 14. 16 for me currently. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, negative flip will be a moderate and a moderate's four damage. Yeah, it's dead. And you get broken down into pieces, don't you? I do, so it becomes... Mannequins. Two mannequins that unfortunately are going to die as soon as they activate because of the... Uh, the leech life. Leech life. Uh, I still have a bonus action, which could be a frightening reminder. Now, the question is, who do I frightening remind? I actually think everyone's in a decent enough position, so I think for the aversion, that'll probably do, seeing as it's slow. There you go. And because it's a replace, I'll put that stunned on that mannequin. Perfect. Right, um, so I'm going to activate the mannequin. It's essentially a pass token because it instantly dies. Leech life. <laughs> so that so one goes. It, that one goes. Uh, I'm going to change straight into an activation for me then, so I am going to go with this Sorrow here. Yeah. He's going to try and glimpse of insanity Carlos because he's on a negative because of his distraction. So stat five versus your willpower. Ah, oh, well then. Well, six well, well. What one one six? Quite go off. Uh, but now it's free to do some slaps. So I'm going to attack you. Stat five versus Carlos's defense. Of oh, six. It's going to be my claws attack. 11. 15. 11 to 15. Yeah, okay. Negative flip. Yeah. Moderate and moderate. Two damage to Carlos. Uh, I'll stone because. <laughs> uh, I, I need to. Yeah, no damage. Lovely. Do you want butterfly jump anywhere? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm going to charge, but... <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's do a high jump to here. Okay. And then the Sorrow will declare a charge chasing after him. Into base to base. It's actually three inches, so if I just knock him back a little bit. Yeah, he'd be fine there, mate. Yeah. Uh, same again, step five versus your defence. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14 as well. Tell me you in your ghostly <laughs> ways. Attacks. That's it. Uh, yeah. Double negative flip. Yeah. Moderate. Moderate. Are you joking? Weak. Thank God. One damage. I'll take that one damage. Knocks him down to? Uh, four health. And you've got two stones remaining. I have. Right, we're going to go with this showgirl. Uh, she's going to attempt to lure Carver. Okay, terrifying 11. Terrifying 11. Boom. Loves it. And then this is stat six versus my willpower of six. Yep. Nine. Um, Fifteen. Yeah, but you lure him away. Yeah, baby. Move five. Yep. Where do you want him? Straight towards you? Yeah. Hi Ooh. there. <laughs> uh, so that's first action. Second action, that's hazardous, isn't it? Hazardous one damage. Hazardous one damage. We thought about making it hazardous slow, but that, but that was just, bit. yeah, that is just not, not good. I mean, if Baby Cage was on the board, he'd love it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure he would, Tom. Yeah, I'm sure he would. I'm actually going to attempt to lure the poltergeist as well. Oh, get, okay. the, um, get the the double. Get the double. So, uh, not terrifying. This is just against my willpower of six. Okay. 17. Uh, 13. Move six. I'll let Ye you do this because the bases of measuring are going to be difficult. You just don't want the work. I just don't want the work to be honest with you. Right. That's it. Like that. To there. 
<laughs> there. Yeah, and that is the showgirl done. God help you, showgirl. God help, God help you. The great train battle continues. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go with this Sora. We just yep. had to review the table. I was like, which Sora is actually beating? Which yeah. so this one's gonna move to here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna attempt a glimpse of insanity, uh, Mr. Carlos. So start off five versus Carlos's willpower. Oh, five. Uh, nine currently. 10. Um, I will match you on 10. I will go to 11. Okay, that fails. You can butterfly jump if you want to. I, I will. Uh, I'm just gonna go to here. And nudge the marker further, yeah. you feel. Yeah. Good. Right, and then I'm just going to charge. We've pre-measured this and I'm incorporeal, so I care not for the boundaries of life and death, but charge there. Okay. I'm going to hit the man in the face. So this is a uh, clause attack. This is going to be stat five versus your defense this time. Okay. Oh, 18. 18. Hey, any cheats? Uh, no. So... The claw stat does come with a daze trigger, which is pretty nice, which is going to give you stunned and push up to three inches, but we'll see what we do for the flip. Uh, double negative, severe, moderate, moderate, uh, with a severe, even, so that'll be two damage. Uh, I'll stall. Uh, yeah, all of it. Reduce all of it. Yep. I'm then going to give him the stunned condition, and then I'll ping him for a point of damage from misery. Okay. And then I can push you up to three inches in any direction. So I'm just going to push you so you're not in base contact with this token. Not that it really matters okay. to Carlos because he just moves, dances away. And that's what Sora done. So yeah, I'm going to go with Carlos now. Uh, he takes a leech life, so he's only on two health left, which is not great. Does heal this Sora back up to full, thankfully. He's yeah, because killing the bird ruined his healing plans. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to shoot burning out though. So those both are going to have burning now which is quite good. Yep. I'm going to try and dance in flames. I need a, a five for this to go off. See how he does. Boom. Loves it. And I presume you're just going to go towards this marker. Yeah. And then are we going to go for the old interactor? We are. Now? We're just going to continue to kick this until... He's got Don't Mind Me, hasn't he? Yeah. He does not care much about it. So it goes there. It's not quite eight inches away yet, but you're really not too far yeah. from the centre line, I think. Actually, let's just double check. You are past eight inches, I want to say, there. Yeah. So that's worth two points now, that one. Fantastic. Nicely done. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. Dorian Crow, you are up, Mr. Newbie. You are going to start your activation by taking the interact action. So just casually place this here. Don't worry about it, Courtney. Uh, he's then going to try his bonus action. He's not going to use boring um, conversation. He's going to use losing interest. So this is a stat six needing a 10. So I'm after a four here. Flip a one, that's not exactly what we're after in life. This pleases me. Um, I'm just going to check. I have got the cards for the cheat, whether I actually... This displeases me. ...want some healing <laughs> or not for his enemy. His, what do we say? Enu. Enu. Um, which Enu wasn't really what I Googled it. It's basically like he's dissatisfied with life or something. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll cheat in the five of masks here just to make sure it goes off. And we'll do a tactical reposition off camera. Mm-hmm. And here we go, after a bit of shenanigans, we've moved everything around. He's then going to take the interact action again. He's got Don't Mind Me, but he's nowhere near the mannequin. He's going to pass this marker over the halfway line to there. And then he's got one more action to go, because Pandora made him a fast boy. So he's going to move three to this position here, and then he's just going to take an extra one-inch move just around to there. And that is him done. We're going to go with Candy, and I may or may not have screwed up one of my schemes. <laughs> <laughs> may have done some measuring here. Which makes me happy. That was a silly place to put a marker. Um, anyway, we're going to rip the stunned offer. We're going to go for a glimpse of insanity on Collector Bois. Okay. So, we just make sure that we're in range. I don't have nudge Candy now, but yeah, we're in range. So this is a stat six versus Collector Bois power six. I'm going to positive yep. flip. Let's do this. Uh, ooh, not... Oh, uh, look at that. Who's come to stay? Traitorous Pandora <laughs> comes out. Thanks, Pandora. Well, then, I guess I better self-loathing Colette. <laughs> we'll try that instead. So uh, this is going to be a stat of six versus Colette's willpower again. 19. That fails again. Thank you, Padita. You never born hating <laughs> gun girl. <laughs> we'll go with it one more time. This is it. My turn is falling apart now. Now I've realised I've screwed one of my schemes. Uh, we'll go one more time. Hey, that's better. Oh, not as good. Uh, 17? 13. 13. Lovely. I am going to take your Phantasmal Prison. 
Okay. Uh, what did you say your last one was? Your total? Uh, 13. 13. That one's 17. So this be a negative flip. Well, you get plus one because of the scheme. Actually, oh, I, I don't know if it will count that because it's an no, scheme No, it's not that ability. It's the magical floor. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Otherwise, fair, yeah. that would be great. So a negative flip, moderate... And a moderate, that would be three damage to collect a boy. I'm going to use my last stone, I think. You spend that stone. You spend that stone. One. So two she, damage? Yeah. She's on two life left. Well, you're going to enjoy this, Courtney, because I'm going to give her a distracted, which will ping the misery off Dorian Crow to give her another point Trace of damage. Trace of a crow man. And then we're going to push her two inches. Now, annoyingly, this won't fix the by stupidity, but I'm just going to chuck her to there. Yep. And that's the end of Candy. Right, well, I used the pass token last time, so I better use my living pass token at this point. I'll go with the mannequin. It dies. Sad mannequin noises. <laughs> right. Um, I'm going to go with the poltergeist then. It's going to activate, and I'm going to charge this showgirl. So I'm going to go to that position there. So okay. this is going to be a big nasty attack, Courtney. Sharp claws. Stat four, though, versus your defense. Okay. Defense of five. And she has got a um, shield because of magical training. Oh, now you remember the token. Now you remember. Yeah. Oh, I should probably put that so you that can see it. That would be useful. Uh, so 16. Does not go off. Never mind. We're then going to use Glimpse of Insanity on her. This is going to be a stat five versus willpower, but you'll be on a negative simply because of my distraction aura. Okay. Red Joker. Well, Black Joker, please. Oh, oh for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> keep throwing stuff at me. I'm so just I keep it's bobbing not, and weaving. It's not that I'm trying to detonate any charges or anything. I just keep bobbing and weaving, me. me uh, I'm going to attack you again then. See okay. how you like it with another attack. Stat four versus your defense. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean. It's a 15, Courtney. Eight. No, no, nothing happened in there. Straight flip. Straight flip. Um, that's not great. I'll cheat in this moderate to make it three damage. Down to two because you're shielded. Yep. So the shielded falls off. Uh, and that will do for the poltergeist. Terrible activation. Right, we'll go with Angelica now because it's my last activation. You're excited you actually get to use your bonus action. I know, it's great, isn't it? It's great when you get to actually do things that are on your card. <laughs> uh, so, she's going to do a bonus action which lets her move five inches. No flip for this? No flip for it. It just happens. I see how it is, I see how it is. Um, she's going to move again. Six inches. Yeah, and then she's going to interact. Just chuck this as far away from the poltergeist as you said as yes. you possibly can. And that will be her done. It's the Carver Man, and if you're not going to let me score detonate charges, I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> so <laughs> he's going to glimpse of insanity this really strong willpowered showgirl. Okay. Start six, but you're on a negative against your willpower. Okay. Yeah, he wants her dead. Well, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13. Uh, 19. Not so much I can do about I'm that. I'm give you the stunned condition. Okay. Now, annoyingly, you're not within 10 inches of Pandora. So, actually, rather than giving you the point of damage, I'm going to push you two inches into the hazardous terrain. Yeah. So, take another point of damage, my dear. Okay. Knocks her down to... Two health. I'm then going to charge her. So, I am going to charge. I'm going to have to take some damage. You are. Thank God Come in. It. I didn't think about <laughs> Come this. Come into the, uh, the oil, my yeah, friend. Let's get groovy. I'm an idiot. I should have pushed her slightly more to the wing, but I'll take we, We've We've now entered the... Uh, if this was on Twitch, we've entered the hot tub. Hang on. Do I actually take two damage here? Because I have to move and then... Attack. Yeah. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we've entered the hot tub section of, uh, of our presentation now. Right. I'm going to attack you. Stat seven versus your defense. Uh, defense of five. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, 11. Six. Okay. Uh, nothing to cheat for you? Nope. I'm going to tactically reflip my deck. I'm on double crit strike for triggers. Negative flip. Weak. Severe. That's four damage. Oh, yeah. She, she dead. She well dead. She dead. And then to just finish this completely sorry state of affairs, I'm going to take another point of damage, so I'm down to seven, to walk back off the <laughs> stupid hazardous <laughs> terrain. <laughs> That I walked onto in the first place. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> and here we are at the end of turn three. And um, not that I was going for detonate or anything, but kind of need to learn to measure where your ski markers go. Yeah, it just helped them. It's not, it's not Pandora's fault. If we're showcasing her, not my own idiocy, like with <laughs> three points of damage to Carver. 
Uh, it's worth saying two Sorrows have taken some burning, you've just distracted onto one of them. And in terms of points then, you score a break the line. I do. And I score a break the line. Mm -hmm. So we believe the score currently is two points to three in favour of Colette Bois and the Arc. Yes. So we've uh, drawn up our cards as we go in. We've You've had a spare stone knocking around and spent it. I've spent a stone for cards. So I think I've got two and you've got zero. Right I have got zero, yeah. And we flip for initiative and you have won the flip. You've discarded the Black Joker, so hopefully this should be a, a decent turn of flipping. I would or hope just so. just pressing down the middle and scheming, essentially, is how it's going to work, mm -hmm. isn't it? So uh, we'll go to the first activation of turn four, which will be the Arcanists. Right, I think we're going to go with Colette. Now she can actually do things, you know, without slow or stunned or I mean, anything no, like that. I can hook you up with that if you no, need No, no, I'm sure. I, no, I think I'll, I'll, I'll do without, you know. Um, so I'm going to try and do Smoke and Berries. I need a free for this to go off. It's on one HP, so she's going for Hail Mary here. Oh, yeah, baby. That's and it's it. the suit I want, so I get a Soul Stone. So smuggling traits coming out. Oh, yeah. So, so she put she... some marker down next to her. That's a yeah. good point. Let's do that now. It's a bit of healing, Let's really. Do well, it right. bit of damage reduction, isn't it? Yeah, she uh, flips to this side. And then are you going to go and kick this marker? I am, so I'm going to take one action to move to here, then kick this marker. Okay. Ooh. And then I think I'm going to interact. Oh, I see. I see how it is. And I think I'll interact a little bit to that. And that's, that's collect done. Over to me, I'm going to go with the Summoned Sorrow first, so let me just show you the hand of cards that I have available for this turn. Uh, he's going to Glimpse of Insanity, Carlos, because why not? So, he's going to go stat 5 versus Carlos's willpower. Okay. 7. 15. Does not go off. Yay! Do you want to jumpy jump anywhere? Um, yes, actually, I would like to do that. That would be smashing. So, I'll just get my little free out. There we are. Get away from me, ghosts. Run away. Uh, into base contact with that. I'm assuming you're going to be uh, right on my heels. Uh, I, I may well be. Uh, yeah, I'm going to charge him. Mm -hmm. So there. And this is going to use my claws attack. This is stat five versus your defense this time, rather than willpower. Okay. Oh, six. Got no cards so far. Um, ten. Um, I'll go to... 14. Mm, I'll go to 15. Okay, do you want a butterfly again? Um, yeah, I think I'll just butterfly to the others to the... Okay. Okay. And then I am simply going to move, just so that I'm within four inches of Cassandra and Carlos. I'm just going to float up to the tip of the edge here, just so I'm within four inches of those two. Okay. Right, let's go with Carlos. Now, it would take damage from Leech Life, but I'm actually going to do a, use a stone. So I've already flipped that, and it's already um, blocked that damage. So, he's going to interact to kick that a little bit further, just to make it incredibly difficult for you to get that back. <laughs> then I'm going to try and do my Burning Dance. So I need a 4 or a 5 for this to go off. Let's have a look. That's absolutely fine. He moves from five inches. Yeah, he does. He gains burning, doesn't he? He does. Does he be gaining the burning every time he's done one of these dances? Yeah. Yeah, he's got like, he must have like free burning now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and then he's going to interact. And put a ski marker he's down. He's going to put a ski marker down. And that is Carlos done. Lovely. Okay, so we've just stacked Carlos with like four burning. We presume he's danced each turn, so he will actually take a damage at the end of it. It will turn. do, yes. Uh, about bloody time after what's distracted. That stone down. was even more um, Even more vital. Prudent. There yeah. you go. So I'm going to go with this Virgin. It can't interact with the strap marker, so it's going to move five inches. We've pre-measured this. Okay. It can go straight through this Sorrow, being both incorporeal. It's going to try and Frightening Reminder the Sorrow, just to push it back a little bit. So I need a five for this to go off. Get an eight, that'll do. Mm -hmm. So I'll push the sorrow four inches, which will basically just push it to there. And then I think I'm just going to charge Cassandra. How much health is she on, Cassandra? Oh, she's on six health. Lovely. So uh, it's all behind this rock, so I'm just going to tactically move this out of the way so people <laughs> can see. So this is going to be a start of five versus Cassandra's defense. Of six. We'll see how we do. Oh, 18. Oh, seven. Anything to cheat? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, I'll go to. Yeah. I'll go to fifteen. Okay. No, so, thirteen. Sorry. So it's still a, a neg. Okay. Just. Negative flip. So weak. 
and weak. That is two damage to Cassandra. Two damage. Knocks her down to four health. And that will be the end of the aversion's activation. Right, let's go with Cass. So she takes the damage from Leech Life. So she's on three health now. Um, I am going to try and disengage. Okay, against the aversion. Yep. Stats of five. This will be versus your defense. Of six. Uh, 18. Not 18. So you're free to move. Yeah, so she's going to move to here. Do you want me to do it? Yes, please. And then she'll move again to there. And then I'll do my bonus action to finesse, I think. Okay. And that's it done. This beautiful train is the bane of my existence. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to take this now just to try and deal with this scheme marker, just in case. I know you've got your three out at the moment. So this, uh, sorry, we've measured can walk to here. He's going to interact to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And we've basically said these little trees aren't actually concealing, they're just there for prettiness, aren't they? Yeah. Right? So I'm going to try and glimpse of insanity you, but I am distracted. So I'm on a negative flip. Stat five versus Cassandra's Warpath. Okay. Yeah, it does not go. Yeah. It does not Get out of here. And that's him all done. So I've just been lamenting off camera that basically me putting that scheme marker there and not bothering to measure has cost me two points in this game because I can either score the strat now or I can score my scheme, which is a bit of a problem either way. So Dorian Crow, he's going to step up. He's going to use his bonus action of losing interest. This is a stat six needing a 10, so I want a four. Get a 12 of masks. He's more than happy with that. And we'll just do a quick reposition. Yeah, and we've moved. And then what he's simply going to do is just going to take a walk action here. I was going to R and hitting Cassandra. <laughs> And he is, see this is just outside of two inches of Colette and I'm not going to be able to push her because of the damage she's going to sustain from any condition <laughs> or any tickle next is going to basically kill her, isn't it? You could so heal me. I could, I'm just going to yeet that marker to there, mate. All right. So you're just going to keep spending these pass tokens and making me play with my toys and second yeah. guess all of my moves, you terrible I've guys. got three left, come at me. <laughs> Pandora's going to go. Uh, she's going to compounding emotions, that's her main focus to start with. So she is stat six, needing a 12. We need a six. We get a six. Very convenient there. And our crows doesn't do anything. What it will, quite simply, is it will replace the distracted with stunned on Colette, die. which will ping a misery damage that will kill her. Wah, wah. We won't bother with a corpse. We're not going to need goodbye, it. Goodbye, Cass. Um, I mean, goodbye, I'm Colette. Take the uh, distracted off the sorrow and give it fast, just because we've uh, measured it out now. That should yeah. be able to push this marker eight inches away from the center line. So she's got three AP left to go. So the first thing she's going to do, she's going to try and wait of despair, Cassandra Felton. So this is going to be a stat six versus Cassandra's willpower, mate. Yeah. Just for oh, oh, flipping it. Yeah, you got you your camera to... for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the total you on? Uh, I am on ten. You are on ten. I will go to. Ooh, I'll go to eighteen. Um. I will just go to 17, just okay. to put you on. So, negative flip here. Yeah. Moderate, weak, that's one damage. Cool. You gain a stunned. Yeah. I will ping you for a point of damage off the nearby aversion. Yeah. And then I will push you two inches, move you two inches even. Hmm. Here. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I should. I think I felt sure rather than doing things, I should have nimbled behind that wall. There's a lot of these this turn where we're like, probably should have done this. Well, to be fair, at least I didn't move through difficult terrain for no reason yeah. and take free damage. So yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that was her first action, wasn't it? Yeah, How yeah. How much health is Cassandra on? Uh, one. One health. Yeah. I'll, I'll hit her again with another weight of despair. Start six. But do you know what? Actually, no one. I will summon off her first. I need. Uh, woe is me. I need a nine of tomes. I'm literally pulling out of my hand without even. Yeah. Well, it's a thirteen, but I'm ju ju just going to bring this in. Okay. So uh, I'm going to summon Mr. Newer Version into base contact with her. He will be blessed with glorious purpose and also a slime. Okay. And we'll get him a little summon token. And then, yeah, Pandora's just going to hit her one more time with a... Woe is me! Start six versus your willpower. Yep. I'm just giving you more pass tokens. It's not what I want to do. 11. 19. Yeah, I can't stop that. <laughs> so, straight flip. Yep. Uh, it's plus one damage. Yeah, it's four damage. She dies! She explodes! I mean, the killing is all great, and it's what I like to do, but it's not scoring me any points at all at the moment. Good. Uh, but that's Pandy Pants, all done. 
So I've drawn my card at the end of Pandora's activation. You have passed again, because obviously I gave you another pass token. Yeah. So you're going to go with Mr. New, slower version. He's going to walk to this position here, and he's just going to try and frightening reminder Dorian. So this is a stat of five, need a good 10. We flip a 12, that definitely goes off, and I'm simply just going to push him into this marker here. Okay. And that is the aversion order. Yeah, I think I'm going to use a pass token. Just, just stop making me play with my token. I've got two left. Right, I'm going to go with this Sora. He's going to interact to push this to here. Mm -hmm. He's lightning quick, so he's just going to move to here. And he's going to interact again just to chuck it around. Tonya. There we go. Pass token. So you're going to say this turn is pass token. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just going to go Candy because she's not got much else to do. So she's going to move five inches to here. And then she's going to have to go around this without nudging Pandora uh, to about here. But then we're going to start using the shenanigans that are glimpse of insanity in your own models to give them stuns so Pandora can give them fast. Amazing. So uh, she's going to glimpse of insanity, Dorian. He's going to relent. Start six. A red joker is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you know what happens anyway? <laughs> I give him fast anyway. Because <laughs> yeah. he could suffer two damage and gave fast. I'm not going to declare the trigger. I'm just going to give him a stun condition. Just burn him out, mate. That's it. Just I can burn just burn him, him out. out. He doesn't care. He's incorporeal. It's probably a good shout, but no, that'll do. Right, so I'm going to go with Angier Pass token. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> right, my pulse geist is going to go. It's just going to double walk to this position there. And that is it. All done. You now have to activate your models. <laughs> I mean, model. Okay, so now I have to actually interact you have to play and the game, do the mate. game. So I'm going to go with Angelica. I'm going to do a bonus action to go to, to there. Thank you, Tom. Um, so and even when you're playing with your models, I'm playing with you. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to move six inches to that. <laughs> Just commands me. Thank you. And then I'll interact and kick it up. Do you want to see that one for you as well? Yes, please. You're kicking it towards your own half, yeah? No, 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 no. You sure? No, no, I'm fine with that. I mean, it just, it just put me in, like, Carver, Carver range. territory. But I feel like I might as well at this point. <laughs> so here we go. Well, well, well. About time our model's interacted. I'm going to go with Monsieur Carvey Dent. He is going to glimpse of insanity to start with. Okay. This is a start of six versus your willpower. 16. Eight. Anything to cheat? Uh, no. Okay. She gets stunned. Give stunned. I'll ping her for a point of damage from the poltergeist. Okay. And then Carver is basically just going to get stuck in. Okay. So, yeah, five inch charge. He is going to charge along with this route here. And by an attack, this is going to be stat seven versus Angelica's defense. Okay, all five. Ten. Nine. Anything to cheat. Uh, I'll go to 16. I will match you on 16. Okay. With the execute trigger. Cool, and I have the get off the stage trigger. You have no triggers because you are stunned. Oh god, every time. <laughs> Double negative flip. Uh, moderate. Don't worry, it's carver though, so it won't hurt you. Moderate. It's two damage still with carver. Yay! I'll discard my four. So... She has three health left. And then he'll hit you one more time. Okay. Just like Britney Spears, yeah. <laughs> apparently. Stat seven. 14. Um, nine. Anything? No. Negative flip. I'm going to declare double crit strike, because that's around there and he's got one built in. So yeah. negative flip. Weak. Ugh. Weak four damage. Yeah, she dies. Yeah. It doesn't score me any points, but he does some murders. And that brings us to the end of the turn, I believe. It does. And here we are at the end of turn four, and that is never going to be the best turn of Malifaux we've played in terms of tactical nous, but we're playing with new masters. Yeah. It's completely valid. So we believe that you have scored, spread them out. You have three markers yeah. that I couldn't really do much about, so we've removed those for a point. And of course, you've got break the line because you have got plenty of markers for scoring mm. in that sense. I've also managed to score break the line, so I'd only score one point for it so far. But now this one that I've pushed further down is worth two when it's eight inches away from the yeah. center. So I get my second point for it there. So by our reckoning, it's currently three points to five. Yes. Now, you've only got Carlos left, and I've made it quite clear that I have detonate charges. There is no way in hell 
that I think anything can happen here. No. So what we're going to do is we're just going to talk through how this will work. We've already drawn our cards. We flip for initiative. I won the flip. Essentially, Carlos is not going to be able to score, spread them out, or outflank. Mm. He's, he's unable to do that. Yeah. But you break the line is relatively safe. We know I've got Dorian with claim jump, and we know that we have the ability here with this marker to push it. Hmm. So Dorian, quite simply, would either gain fast from Pandora or just interact to push this to here, and then he would just move himself towards the center of the board. Yes. That would be easy. Then we've got Pandy, Kandora, even the Sora if we do a bit of jiggery pokery, literally just to push this marker over the halfway line, which would score my extra point for it. Yeah. Happy with that, mate. Yeah, I think even if if Angelica had gone around that side, I could have got a ski marker, ski marker, but you've got so much that can get there. And winning like, the initiative flip with Carlos on one health. Yeah, exactly. It's, it just wasn't going to happen. No, so we believe that that would be a claim jump point for me and a break the line point for me. You would have, what, three points worth of break the line yeah. left, which wouldn't be enough to score you your end of turn points. No. Because you've already scored three points from it. Yes. So we believe from our logic that would take it up to five points to five. Yeah. Which is fair showing. We'll do a handshake on camera. I'll inevitably edit over this how our maths is terrible, but we think that's how it is. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I think it's that way. I don't think there's any way for me, because yet, yeah, like you said, you're going to move that anyway, so it's going to be... Yeah, free. between the poltergeist and the... Um, the carver, they yeah. can easily. So I'm quite happy over. with that being a 5 5. Lovely. And we'll go to the end takes. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is about the lunch break turn. Like turn four, we just kind of lost the plot. We were doing things we didn't really need to do. Uh, yeah. But they were really fun masters. Yeah, I, it was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Definitely. Our practice games are Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was horrible. You've, you've not seen. The, t the terror that I've experienced in those practice games. But, but this is why we did it, because we filtered the board and the strap pool to make sure we could show both off. And as yeah. you can see, like Colette, I mean, she got shut down, luckily, turn two onwards. But even that first turn, just, I'll oh, push everything. Yeah, uh, hopefully you'll see the potential madness from that turn yeah. one of what Colette could actually achieve. But if you listen to our Harlefo podcast already, you've probably heard us talking about how we actually think she's the better of the two, but yeah. quite a bit. She's oh. quite nasty. Um, but Dorian? Wonderful highlight. Fantastic. Of my life. He brings so much extra. I mean, chucking candy across the board to one is hilarious. It just gives you that extra bit of movement that Pandora that the didn't have, didn't have yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. Pandora herself being able to swap conditions, give out fast, and give out some fun conditions for herself and debuff enemies is also really good. And just being able to summon. I mean, when's the last time I ever used an aversion? But now I can be like bring them out, summon them. So not in the least, though, have we? I mean, there's one paint on my desk over there. It's like coming down because. <laughs> Don't be bring it in my life. Mm -hmm. But yeah. um, really good game, and I think the fact that it ended on a draw shows the little kind of practice games we've done. We've got up to the level now where I think we're really looking forward to seeing how the community responds. Yeah, I'm, I'm really I'm looking forward to seeing how they respond to these new masters because so, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, there's going to be a lot of fun. Ex excitement. Yeah, and we've talked about some of the ones we're excited to about on the uh, podcast as well. Now we're not doing MVPs for the giveaway. So do you have an MVP of this game? Who do you think shone the most? Me. I'm the MVP. The bird noises. I'm always the MVP when I come on this channel. That's, that's just... This the, is my channel, really. So that just he's, he's, yeah, an, he's yeah. a paid actor that I've... Um, Does all the editing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest, um, I think it's very difficult for me to give an MVP out to my own crew because... Who says to give it to your crew? What about my crew? What about Candy? Shutting down your master? Can, I don't like Candy, though. Like pushing them I'd, actually, I'd rather... Um, cut me cut my own tongue out and say that she was good at anything, Candy, because I hate her. No, I, I, I guess it do be like Candy that. Candy shut down, pretty much shut down Colette. I think that's that's pretty nice, you know. Anyway. <laughs> <She sucked. laughs> anyway, what we'd like you to do in the comments instead, as we said in the intro, is tell us which of these three, Pandora, Colette, Dorian, you're most excited to get out on the table when these are eventually released. And what we'll do is either by me bribing weird or putting money into our pockets, well, yeah, we'll, we'll send you a copy of that box. Do you want our money? Because you'll get it if you, you win this. You want our five p <laughs> YouTube monetized content. Because you'll, you'll get it. You'll, you'll get, get this. It. You'll get this box. You'll get that box. Hell or high water. Either Johnny Weird or we will, Oz will find that. It, it'll box. find a way to you. But yeah, let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe so you can see it pop up in the channel community page. But a massive thank you to Courtney for no all problem. the Naruto Dragon Ball Z training we've been doing in the last yeah. week. Yeah. And a big thank you for I think it's the fastest I've ever painted a crew in, in my life. I so I'm, I, I need a nap. Now, now we know he can do it. Now he's going to do it for all of his crews. Oh, God. It's going to take a while. Oh, God, you're right. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys, and thank you so much for watching our videos. It means the world to us. If you want to see some more, they should be over here. And if you want to support this channel, keep these lights on. You can find links to our Patreon and merchandise in the description below. Take care.